All right, so this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how I do my jiggle physics when working with MMD imported into Blender. Fun fact, I just recorded this and I'm recording it again because I accidentally recorded the wrong screen. But anyways, I digress. So delete the cube, first step as always, go to your MMD tools panel. There will be some uh, links in the description on how to get this MMD tools if you don't already have it. And also um, a link on the other add-on that I use for the jiggle physics so you just import your model like normal make sure you click the fix IK links as shown in my last video it's imported uh, let's go ahead and just apply motion on there make sure it's at the same scale as your models imported in Cool. And then we'll just give it a quick preview to see how it looks. All right, so she's back again with the moves. And you'll notice this time there's no jiggle physics. So it doesn't seem as real. Um, so this is the method and how I fix that. So normally, I guess one way would be there's a physics tab here. If you click this physics, then you can get some results. However, you'll notice the hair kind of looks okay, but nothing else is really jiggling as much as some might like. So how I fix that is uh, with this add-on called Spring Bones. And like I said, there'll be a link to um, where you can download this and how to install it. But, um, okay, so click the armature button so you can see all the armature of your model. Select any one of these bones to get it to highlight like this. And once it's highlighted, you go um, in this drop down menu, click pose mode. And once you have pose mode clicked it, you click one of these chest bones. It doesn't matter which one. Um, on your panel here, you'll see this green bone. You'll click that green bone. And you'll see a section called spring bones here. And now um, these are settings that kind of influence how the jiggle physics works. So depending on your model, you might have to play with those a bit. But this video is more to just kind of show you like the method. So I usually click spring, click spring, rotation. Um, for this, I'm just going to put the bounce to like one to see how it's just to kind of make it through. Um, select another one spring rotation one and you'll do this for all the different uh chest bones usually there's only there's only four and once you have all of those kind of programmed in with the same settings different settings depending on how you want to do it you'll click start animation mode now you'll see whenever we play the animation back. If you can see it, we've got some, we've got jiggle. The culture will be very proud of this. So stop and to um, kind of lock in the motions because usually what happens is uh, if you open it, collect, uh, select play, stop again, you get different types of jiggle results. So if you like the results and you want to kind of like save it in, you'll have to bake it. And um, in order to bake it, you just turn back on the armature, select one of these, uh, just any part of it again, go back to pose mode. Now holding shift, you want to select all four of these chest bones. Once they're selected, click pose, uh, go down to animation, bake action, select only selected bones, visual keying, clear constraints, and overwrite current action. Click OK. 
no, you just got to give it some time, you know. I mean, it is considered a bake, so you got to preheat the oven. You got to let it kind of like cook. Heat, it's got to hit it just right. Cook it for to perfection. And then you pull it out at just the right time. Baking. It's about time. Or you could just go grab a snack or something. I mean, hopefully it doesn't take like that long. Maybe it depends on everything. But usually it's not too long of a wait. All right. And once this is fresh out of the oven or finished baking, if you want to be technical, um, you go back to the green bone go down to your spring bones panel and just click stop because since it's baked in we don't need the animation to be playing anymore so now with fingers crossed this should continue to work like normal and how we just saw it all right ladies and gentlemen looks like we've got some jiggly physics so turn this off, turn this on, and boom, there you go. That's kind of how I'll, um, I've been doing my jiggle physics lately. Um, for the hair, sometimes, I mean, well, probably never. I've never really used the physics that come default in this uh, MMD panel, but a method that I've found is just using the hair physics and MMD, I like the way that looks better. So I figured out a way where you can export a limbic file from MMD. So then I usually just bring the model into Blender without hair, uh, do the jiggly physics in Blender, and then in MMD, do the lambic export so I can just get the physics of the hair by itself, and then I just match it onto this model. But um, if anyone's interested in kind of that process and how I do the physics of my hair and combining everything, just let me know and I can do a tutorial on that one. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. And I guess we'll all jiggle on. <laughs>